anyway let me show my netbook i don't know if it will be in the in same shape again this triple e pc 1008 ha we are going to upgrade the ram from 1 gb to 2 gb well, this is also my first attempt we are trying to unscrew the netbook there are four screws at the bottom next step I'm gonna have four pins here so if I push this four this keyboard is supposed to come out so I just pushed these two pins the keyboard has come out slightly it's needed to push these two again okay so we just pushed all these four four pins inside we are supposed to open the keyboard from one side to the other so we started from this side to this side there are some stickers inside that will that would make you feel that it is hard to pull out but it comes out finally there are four clips here also at the at the bottom that keeps the keyboard inside so you pull it from the top and it comes out this way there is still something inside I am still supposed to remove this this bus somehow so that the keyboard can be disconnected I see two black things here this one here and the other one here screwed everything so there are six small screws there is one big one which one so this one was below the sticker that said seal if broken you void the warranty so i guess i have done that already but yeah so the, the, these are the six screws you are supposed to remove on this big screw this is how it looks then on okay i'm supposed to remove this panel somehow and Yes, and let me try to do try to do that and we'll again resume the video okay so now this was a tricky part we took a card and so you got to slide that card from these borders like this it's not it's not that easy I mean well I was afraid if I would but yeah if you just slide this card through it will just open now it's already open I'm just demonstrating how it goes through now once you do that thing all the sides you'll probably need to close the lid and do it here and here so once you do that put that card aside there are still some there will be some connectors here below the monitor so what you do is you lift this thing from here slightly and push it out and pull it outwards and then you so you get it moving because I haven't yet removed something because of which it is which is still stuck I guess this is this bus so we just pulled out this bus so just came this thing out this thing came out and then you open the whole thing like this wow uh, two more things here we took off these two stickers so that this can move there was this connector here which we disconnected this is one we also dismantled this bus you got to push and you got to pull it up it's like this and we also removed this sticker so 
so that now if I pull this thing the entire board moves if there is something else also I think I need to take care of okay now finally we even managed to do some more progress so what we did was uh, as per the instructions available on the internet we are supposed to remove three ribbon cables this was one this was the second one which we already removed they, this was the third one which we tried really hard to remove but we are just not able to do that however even if you don't remove it I guess it is still possible to lift the motherboard up the only key there is there is a power connector connector here so just need to be uh, careful and and just take that thing up from there so when we slightly pushed this side outside and lifted this thing it came out yeah it's not it was not as smooth as you see it now but yeah finally it came out so once you do that there is a black a plastic membrane and beneath, beneath that there will be a RAM so we need to disconnect that now because you did not remove this cable you can't you can't freely open this thingy so we'll just try to figure out the better way of doing it so finally we figured out we removed this cable this cable which was here so you un unplug that cable then it just freely it comes out and you can rotate the board like this and keep it this way I just need to remove this black thingy and there will be a ramp beneath that once this thing came out there are two two clips here you just need to push them push them out the RAM will come out immediately it's pretty easy once the RAM comes out you take it off it's like this pretty much this is the RAM I just took out you insert your new RAM there push it in remove this black sticker from this RAM and put it there now, I don't I don't really know why they use this black sticker but I guess this is for to protect the RAM from dust and all because there is small opening here so, so that's it we plug the RAM now which looks pretty much nice now there is one more one more Herculean task to connect everything back